The latest injury news, thoughts on the Bengals' offense without another member of their starting offensive line, Joe Burrow, Zach Taylor, and more, plus maybe a little added motivation. Let's get into it. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine of allbengals.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and a reminder that you, well, you can bet $10 and get $200 on BetMGM. If any NFL team scores a touchdown this week, as long as you're 21 or older and located in Ohio, just click the link in the description to get that done. And let's dive into it because this Bengals team was relatively healthy offensive line-wise all season long. And, well, they've been snake bitten for the past four, three weeks. Yeah, it would be three weeks since January or since December 24th. And we're on January 17th. And it's just, well, it's brutal because first it was Lyle Collins, huge part uh, of why your offensive line was better. Akeem Adenogy has done a decent job. And then it was Alex Kappa, who's still week to week and going to be out this week. I, I don't really see a scenario where he plays against the Bills. And Max Sharping, I think, is okay. And it's like, all right, you can survive these, but anything else, and Jonah Williams goes down. Dislocated kneecap for the second time this season, uh, opposite knee this time. He's week to week. I don't anticipate him playing against the Bills, which could it be Jackson Carmen? Will they promote Isaiah Prince? I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do at left tackle, but now you're really hurting. Now you're getting into the, the depth, depth, depth uh, areas of that offensive line room that you just... You wanted to avoid. You wanted to see that maybe on an extra point here or there or special teams here and there or uh, something like that. But yeah, it's um, it's tough. So w- what does it mean for this Bengals offense? It means that the margin for error is, shrunk, is shrinking and has shrunk officially. doesn't mean they can't go to the Super Bowl. It doesn't mean they can't go to Buffalo and win. It doesn't mean they can't win against Kansas City or Jacksonville or beat whoever comes out of the NFC. No, they can. They're still capable of doing all of those things with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase and T. Higgins and all of these guys. But the margin for error is much, much smaller now. And so what does that mean? Well, first off, you need Joe Burrow to continue playing superhuman. He can't be week 18 against the Ravens' Joe Burrow. He has to be what we saw in the, the first drive and a half of, of the Buffalo Bills game. He has to be what we saw against the New England Patriots, where I thought he balled out and some of the skill guys let him down a little bit. He has to be what he was the other night, where, yeah, you look at it and you're like, 23 of 32, 209, a touchdown, ran for another touchdown. I thought he played well. And this offensive line broke down, and it was just a really tough matchup, and some of his skill guys left some plays out there. That's the other part that can't happen. You need your stars to be stars for the rest of the way. Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, Hayden Hurst, Joe Mixon, all of these guys, Samaj P. Ryan, they have to be dialed in. Trent Irwin. And I know not all of those guys are stars, but you're only going to get so many plays, so many opportunities to make those big plays, especially with the offensive line being where it is. So with that margin for error smaller, less likely to have as many downfield opportunities, less likely to have as many breakaway plays when they're there. If they're there, you got to make them and you got to create them. The yak, the yak attack. And the the Ravens, they didn't really give up much. I mean, a 19-yarder was the, the biggest play, uh, longest play from scrimmage for the Bengals the other day. Can't be the case against Buffalo. Got to get things rolling. This offense has to go. And everybody knows that. So the margin for error shrinks. And that part um, is tough. And and then the other part of this is this defense just has to continue to be awesome. And the first three quarters against Baltimore, I know they were kind of on their heels a bit, but they responded against a weird offense that had them on their heels. All right. Well, now you go up against a Bills offense that you know what they're going to do. Now it's tough to beat them. It's Josh Allen can run. He can throw it three miles. He can throw it through a wall. And you know, all of those things are there, but he is going to give you some opportunities for turnovers. So you got to take advantage of him. You got to catch him. You can't have drops in the secondary. You can't have drops. And if there's a ball batted up, you got to find a way to get it. Find a way to, to give this offense another opportunity or two, which they did this past week, right? Two turnovers to one. If, if you do that and you win the turnover battle, it's going to go a long way, especially on the road. So that's my thought on the offensive line. No Andrew Whitworth. 
Uh, that's not going to happen. He came out and said that, and that's why I didn't do a video on Monday. I knew uh, kind of the scenario, but I, would I have called? I, I certainly would have, and that's why I mentioned it to Elise on, on Sunday night. Why wouldn't you? Left tackle. He's a left tackle. It's not like he played 10 years ago. I'm not saying, hey, Willie Anderson, play right tackle. No. it's th This is 11 months removed of, of him playing at a, a really high level. So uh, not going to happen, and we'll see who – does happen to play left tackle. I do want to get into something I saw that the Bengals can potentially use as motivation. But first, this one goes out to Houday Nation because Fantasy Life knows how you feel about ruling the jungle and they're giving you some action in the wild. By using the link in the description, you can bet $10 and get $200 on BetMGM if any NFL team scores a touchdown guess what? That's going to happen this week. And that's all that needs to happen is an NFL team needs to score a touchdown this week. Just use the link in the description, the link below. And as long as you're 21 or older and located in Ohio, it's that easy. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Going undefeated in November and December is big, but the Bengals, well, they're trying to do it in January, which and you know how tough that is going through the playoffs. They've done it so far. And if you want team tips, betting, picks, and more, subscribe to the free Fantasy Life newsletter at fantasylife.com. Find out where they stand amongst the competition week over week. They've got you covered. Again, fantasylife.com. And if you want that $10 bet with BetMGM to become 200, use the link in the description. Real quick, I, I thought this was interesting. And you know, I, I had a Zach Taylor rant planned for this back half of the video. And instead, I'm going to make it a, a separate video because the, the NFL, well, they just happened to release an email today and sent the email out. And I'm sure you've seen it by now, not the email necessarily, but someone tweeting it or, or mentioning it or maybe, maybe an article about it. But tickets for potential neutral site AFC championship game in Atlanta set to go on sale. And they will go on sale t tomorrow on Wednesday. And season ticket members from both teams will have access at first. And then you could sign up at NFL.com slash AFC to register for the pre-sale. And the reason I'm telling you that is because, well, that would mean that the Bills have to beat the Bengals and the Chiefs have to beat the Jaguars. And let me just read the first paragraph for you. With the potential neutral site AFC championship game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta between the Buffalo Bills and Kansas City Chiefs remaining a possibility entering divisional playoff weekend. The NFL has advised the clubs to begin selling tickets from their allotment in preparation for a scenario, uh, scenario in which a neutral site game would take place. This is directly from the NFL. Now, full disclosure, of course, teams have to do this. Makes sense. Big event. If it happens, you got a plan. I get all that. Also, I would print all of these out and put each one in a locker uh, in, in all of the Bengals players' lockers. And the Jags should do the same thing. Because from the, for the whole time, it's felt like, ah, man, they would love to get that rematch, that divisional round rematch from last year. Everyone last year said how that was really the AFC title game. That was really it. Well, it wasn't. Spoiler. The Bengals crashed the party then, and they clearly want to crash the party now. Last I, I checked, they were about five-point underdogs. I would use it. And maybe not. Maybe that's not the tactic that they want to use. Whatever, this coaching staff certainly knows how to motivate their players. But, man, just seeing that, if, if I'm in either of these locker rooms, Bengals or Jags, I'm like, and I'm not going to get into it. Of course the Bengals should have gotten a – uh, a coin toss or, or played this game this weekend at a neutral site. I mean, obviously, because if they had won on Monday night, the game that was canceled, then they would have gotten this game at home. And I don't know if they would have won. And the first six minutes, eight minutes of the game don't dictate that, even though they had the edge. I get that. But they had a shot. And so no coin toss, no neutral site. Fine. Okay. They have to go to Buffalo. But can you use this a little bit? Like, oh, yeah. You're selling those neutral site tickets, huh? I think you can. And and so we'll see if Zach Taylor does. But I, I just I read that and I'm like, have to mention it to our, our Cincinnati Bengals talk viewers because I, I just thought it was mighty, mighty interesting. I'm gonna have a video on Zach Taylor that uh you're not gonna want to miss. So make sure you uh keep it locked right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Make sure you check out the OT with Elise Jesse on Thursday night, Joe Goodberry right here tonight, Tuesday night, eight PM, and uh, we're gonna have a ton of locker room. Takeaway stand ups, the latest Bengals news. So hit that subscribe button. Remember, Cincinnati Bengals Talk has all of your coverage from a Bengals perspective right here on YouTube. So for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine, signing off for now on CBT. 
Cincinnati Bengals talk.